Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input-output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So they're going to go ahead and give us the rule here right away. Plus 38 is used to show the relationship between the position of a number in a pattern and then the value of that number. So which table shows this relationship? So we can almost make our own little input-output table using all the information they gave us and see what we could find. So input output so the input is going to be the position of a number in a relationship that's the first thing they give us so we'll just say position and then the value of that number what is that worth and so if we're looking at our positions typically they'll give us the input and they want us to find the output so I see two different sets here. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I see 38, 38, 38, 38. Um, so let's start with 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we'll, we can try the 38s and see which of those kind of work. Which actually, we, we wouldn't need all four 38s. So let's, just, let's just skip. Let, there you go. Let's just do 38 down there at the bottom. And they give us the rule. So they go ahead and give us a plus 38. So if we think of this kind of like an input-output machine, right? We are going to input our position, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 38. And then when it goes into the machine, this rule is what happens to it. All right? So we're going to start with 1 and then plus 38. And then the answer is going to be our output. So 1 plus 38, well, that's just going to be 39. So 2, our rule of plus 38, and that is going to give us 40. So see, our position is going up by 1. Our value is going to go up by 1. Because our rule is plus 38, that's going to be 41. Plus 38, that is going to be 42. And then I guess we got to check out, let's say we skip some, we get down to 38 plus 38. So that is going to be, let's see, double 38. So 8 and 8 is 16. 30 and 30 is 60. 60 and 16, 76. So let's see what matches this and honestly what makes sense. So take a look at A. These values look pretty good 39 40 41 42 that's what we have right here we're just gonna forget the 38 down there at the bottom but you notice that they did a plus one rule right so they actually flipped it it should be 1 plus 38 2 plus 38 3 plus that's how they got the correct values so they they changed the the rule to plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. That's not how rules work. You don't get to change it every single row. These should have been our positions over here. So that's why this is looking all weird, because they give you a rule that changed. So A just does not look like ours. B, not sure what B is doing over here, um, because nothing is happening. The positions should be 1, 2, 3, 4. But look at what they're doing. They're changing the rules, again, every single time, which is not what we do. But nothing happens. They multiply by 1, get 38. They add 0, they get 38. They divide by 1, get 38. They minus 0. Nothing happened on B, except a whole lot of work. So it's going to be C or D, because at least, look at this. We've at least got our positions correct. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what we had right here. So this whole row we don't need, because the 38 was just wrong. And so take a look at C. Once again, look, we're changing the rule. We don't need that. They gave us the rule, and it's going to be D because it's plus 38. 